everyone welcome back to 50 something budgets so or welcome if you are new in today's video i am going to be reviewing how we did against our budget for last week which was week four of november so whoever was running my budget in week three and did a good job she certainly didn't come back and run it this week we shall say um so it's not quite as good a result this week but let's have a look and see how we got on so i'm just going to move my camper van out of the way okay so this is my sheet for the fourth week of November, which ran from Friday the 18th to Thursday the 24th of November. So I rolled over £772.58 from week three. We didn't earn anything, we only get paid once a month, but we did make £40 of sales um, with my husband clearing out the garage. Uh, we also have another couple of things on um, Facebook and a couple of local selling sites, but might not be the right time to sell kind of outdoor and camping equipment and then we used um, a huge 549 pounds from different savings and sinking funds so this was um christmas was a big chunk of it we used some from the camper van tax and insurance fund we used some from van maintenance medical and then there was some money brought in from mine and my husband's personal spending because we purchased things through the account so we had a total of £1,361.58p. The two bills that we were expecting came out, so Virgin Media at 36 and then our Apple Cloud Storage at 79 So there were a couple of unexpected or unplanned spends, which are the ones that are on this list here marked in blue. So the first one was um, £10 to my son, so I've called it Chop Chores. And this is the chop is a nickname for my son so chop chores um so he had a really good week at school last week he got a couple of awards loads of merit marks and things and then he did some tasks for which i said i would pay him um so he ended up earning 10 pounds um which we've popped into his rooster he does actually prefer it in his rooster so he can have little sinking funds in there rather than uh, in cash um he's saving up i think for cod is it Call of Duty on his PC? Um, so he's a bit more motivated than usual to go towards uh, saving up. Then there was £37.05p um, that I spent. So some of that was on some um, bits from Etsy that I've ordered for a little bit of a giveaway. Um, I am nearly at a thousand subscribers. So um, I'm gonna do, as soon as those bits and pieces arrive, I'm going to do um, a giveaway. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that so that was kind of a plan I've put that down as a I was in budget which is green um, because it was covered by money that I had um, subscriptions was five pound um, and then you've got the our birthdays there which was 80 pound so my husband decided that he needed a waterproof coat um, he doesn't have a waterproof coat. He's got a showerproof coat or he's got a warm jacket, but he hasn't actually got a waterproof coat. So this is what I've bought him for Christmas. So I've used um, the £100 that he had for his Christmas and then the rest of the money, this £80, is from um, birthdays. Now, I didn't have the money. I didn't have anything in our birthday fund. His birthday is in February. So I've used the money from another one of my sinking funds. That's not due until August. Um, so that's his Christmas and his birthday done. Now we got that at Go Outdoors um, and when we went there our subscription had run out so there was £5 for that membership so you get the bigger discounts um, and you know we camp all the time so I'm quite happy to pay that £5 to Go Outdoors um, and as you can see that it was, un it was unexpected to come out now that subscription and we weren't expecting to pay the money for my son uh, husband's birthday so they're a blue and then the other thing I hadn't um, budgeted for was um, they had a collection for children in need at my husband's work and he put a tenner in so that's the just giving with the fee on as well so in this section the bills and these expenses unexpected expenses and what have you come to £180.34p um, so if I take that from what I've got available up here um, I am down to £1,181.04. Okay, I'm just looking and I'm thinking, is that slightly out there? Okay, 
I'm thinking I might be 20p out, but it's 20p, what the heck. Um, so I'll bring that down and we'll look at the variable expenses. So these are my envelopes and these are all the things that I planned to spend on. Um, so food for the third week running, um, we're under budget, which is amazing for us. Um, and I have been thinking about why we've managed to click being under budget for the last three weeks. Now we did do a big shop at the beginning of the month at Costco, which has helped. But I think there's some other changes that have had a bigger impact than just going to Costco. Okay. Um, household, we spent 169 and had £4 available for that. So I was under budget again. Toiletries, we had £4 and I didn't spend anything. Fuel, we were under budget. Uh, budget is 80 We spent 75 86 um, <clears throat> So my husband has used our camper van this week a couple of times because it's had its MOT. So he's actually got quite a bit of fuel left this week so I think we'll probably do all right next week. Uh, he will still need to put some in but not a full 80 quid's worth. Um, we were slightly over on family phone. Now if you remember we only put 20 quid in because we we're going to save up and to see Wakanda forever. Um, but my husband suggested that he and I put £20 in the pot each out of our personal spending um, and we go. So that's what we did. So um, that 62 49 includes three cinema tickets and some uh, not very cheap snacks. So we didn't buy the snacks at the cinema, but we did buy them from quite an expensive shop because we, we booked it at quite short notice. Okay, so that was, we had 60, we spent 62 49 um, Miscellaneous, I was slightly over £8.40. Now what on earth was it that I spent on miscellaneous? I kind of remember for the life of me. Oh, yes, um, I needed some pens. And I also needed a ream of A4 paper as well. Um, so that was the 840. Um, and then school, £15 um, was for meals that I put on my son's uh, parent pay account. And then we spent £117.34 on the MOT for our van, which I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with. So when we got our bonus at the beginning of the month, I allocated £200 to our van maintenance fund. Um, and bearing in mind that this van is 18 years old next month. It's an 18 year old van that's been converted into a camper. £117.34, got it through its MOT, um, which I'm chuffed to bits with. I think it, the, we had the horn wasn't working, so um, we had to replace that, which was the biggest thing. Um, so yeah, not bad for an old boy. Um, prescription for my husband, so that was um, came out. And then Christmas, 296.87 all covered by uh, sinking funds so that was a couple of bits um so i finished my mum's present it was my husband's present and it was quite a lot of stocking fillers and bits and pieces so i am just about done for christmas um also included in there is some savings challenges and some envelopes that i've ordered for part of my christmas present um and my husband's ordered me as something as well um which for what, my husband is really good at surprise presents, really good at them. Um, and uh, his love language is presents, so he likes to buy presents. And we've had to really reel him in this year um, and give it a budget. But he has sort of told me what this one present is, is that he's bought me. And um, I shall share it with you all because it's related to budgeting and cash stuffing. Um, oh, and the other thing I needed to say was um, my new mat. So thank you for all your nice comments about my new mat. So my husband has said it's not a mat, it's an MAT. It is a money allocation tool for when I'm doing my cash stuffing. So obviously he's so sharp on these days, he'll cut himself. Um, so yeah, so 296.87 for Christmas. Can you see that down there? Let me just move the camper van back a bit. There we are. Okay, so 513.85 is what I've got left when I take that 667.19 off um, what was available. So I haven't done much in sinking funds because uh, there's not much left. So I've put £60 into Christmas and then £20 was added to our spending. Um, so because we had um, had half of that money each for the a reward my husband got for the phone well I put £10 in the house and I put um my husband had a tenner of it so when this sale went through 
my husband wanted to, us to split that as well. So I got a tenner, he got a tenner, and a tenner of it covered the chores, and then a tenner of it's just gone back in the budget. So uh, that's what that is. So 60 for Christmas, 20 for spending is a total of £80, which left me 433.85. Okay, so my priority as usual is my extra savings. So I've gone through, I've had a look at my Safiano already and I know I've got three pound and a penny to go towards uh, in change. And then I've got um, the fiver I put in at the beginning of the week and then a fiver at the end of the week is 10 pound to the fiver challenge is a total of 13 pound and a penny. Now I did have a lot more pound coins in my change, um, but because we are trying to stretch our income this month over five weeks. So comfortable for four weeks, bit of a stretch for five weeks. I didn't want to take that whole £10 and put it in my penny challenge. So um, I've just changed it for a tenner that I had in the notes in my penny challenge. Um, so yeah, so £13 and a penny is total of two extra um, savings. So on the sheet, I say I've got £428, £420 and 84p. And what I've actually got is the £419.15. And the difference is, my husband used our account to place a bet, won some money, I paid it out in cash, and that those winnings went into our current account, and I've just rounded those figures up. Um, so I think that's where that difference is. It's only about, it's like less than £2, but it is, it's a rounding, um, rather than I've missed anything off. So um, I will use that £419.15, as the amount that I'm going to roll over into week five. Now, week five is a, uh, as I say, not much money, squeezing an extra week out of our income because all of our bonus, we didn't want to just have it in the, um, in the account and use it for living because we're not going to do that going, being able to go, do that going forward if we've not got a bonus. So all of the bonus money was allocated to, um, different sinking funds and savings and then we have lived really this month on um, our normal income so I am squeezing an extra week's uh, variable expenses out of the normal four weeks money so I have a very very short cash stuffing video to record honestly it'll be the, the the smallest amount of money I've cash stuffed and it will be the shortest video um so what I'm going to do is actually as before I cash stuff I'll take you through the week five budget on that video so you'll get two shorter ones um over the weekend rather than a longer one and a teeny tiny one okay now someone did ask me a question in the comments on my last video about how do I um deal with on my trackers the voucher so if you remember in my Christmas envelope somewhere in here I have um, a Tesco's voucher um, I've also got another gift voucher as well but a Tesco's voucher so how did I show it on my tracker um, so I have a tracker for my current account and I also have a tracker which is a bit of a mess as you can see um, for cash okay so the simple answer is I don't track it. So if I use that voucher, so I'm going to go buy um, a bottle of booze for my friend Amy for Christmas. So if that um, bottle of booze in Tesco's was £15, then I would use that £4.50 voucher towards that uh, purchase. But I would only spend um, 15 sorry, I would only spend £10.50 real money so on my sheets on my tracking sheets i would write the date tesco's transaction amy's booze category christmas and then i would put the withdrawal down as 10 pound 50 not the 15 pound i don't count the vouchers as income so i don't count them when i spend them it would be like if i got um a voucher out the back of the Tesco's magazine for 50 pence off a box of cornflakes. I wouldn't count that. I would just say I've got them, tes them cornflakes 50 pence cheaper. So that's the, the way that I do it there. I do include it when I'm thinking about how much have I got available um, for Christmas. So I know that if my budget for, for my friend Amy is £15, I do include 
the fact that I can buy a gift up to £15 because I'm using that voucher, um, but you wouldn't see it anywhere on my budget. So I hope that answers the question. I hope that makes sense. If not, then please do leave me a comment down below. Okay, so let's deal with what I've got in my Safiano. Not a lot is the answer. Okay, so this is my uh, Christmas spending. Um, so this was the £1,000 I had and there's not a lot left in here. I think there's 10, oh, I've only got 10, 10 and 10, 20, 27 pound 50 including vouchers left in there and then I've got the other 250 in my other savings challenge. So as we said we came way under in budget in for food nearly a tenner under but I've converted that change already into a, um, a note. So I'm going to put the five pound that's left on my five pound savings challenge. Oh, there's a penny, a random penny in household. Um, and what I'm going to do with the, that other £2 is I'm going to roll it over so that I've got something in there if there's anything I need for the next week. Now, I don't think there is. Um, we are getting a bit low on toilet paper, um, but we have three loos in this house. We have a, an ensuite that I take the toilet paper out because, you know, it's only when my mum comes to visit. They've got our main bathroom and then we've got a little loo downstairs. So I'm going to just steal the toilet paper from any of the other rooms um so just to keep us going until next month i'm sure we can manage a week on the toilet roll that we've got um but i've got the two pound there if need be um and then toiletries i'm actually going to take a pound out of toiletries and i'll tell you why in a sec so i've got three pound in there to roll over um in case i need that in week five i'm not expecting to buy any toiletries or any household items uh, but we'll just leave that money in there for now i haven't put anything on my shopping list for either of those nothing left in miscellaneous because we bought that stationery nothing left in family fun because we went to see wakanda forever uh, it was really good actually i really enjoyed it um, and then i've got a two pound coin is the only change that i had so i had two pound and a penny uh so i had two pound and a penny in change in there um I can't use that on my penny challenge because I've already done two pound and a penny and I've got nothing smaller, which is why I've taken that extra pound out of toiletries so I can actually put three pound and a penny towards my penny challenge. Okay, and then that's it. And that's just a little bit of cash going back to the bank. So um, not much in there at all. So let's deal with these, um, the money for the challenges. So if I get my book out um, and we need the penny challenge which is dead easy and straightforward because it's all just coming off one number which is where is it down here there we go oh and that was the other thing i think it was scottish mama budget suggested that i look at reallocating my penny savings so doing it the other way so taking the money and working out where i would be doing another sheet um but doing it highest to lowest rather than lowest to highest. So I had a look at doing it and um, if I did the redid the sheet, I would have only have ticked off all the greens, all the blues and up to the 271 on the beige. And I was like, oh, that's even less filled in. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. It'll be what it'll be. Um, but yeah, so I am definitely not doing the penny savings challenge next year. Um, I do have a plan for how I'm going to use um, my coins, but it isn't going to be this challenge. It's uh, so massive kudos to Kerry at Budget with Kerry, who has managed to complete this. Um, she was fantastic on her savings challenges. So if you like to see people do savings challenges, go and watch Budget with Kerry. Um, but I think she's the only person I've ever seen do it. Um, and then we've got the five pound savings challenge. So I'm putting that fiver in, that's left over from food. So rubbish colouring off me as usual. There we go, that's it. So um, for those of you who watched my uh, video about all of the work that we need to do on this house, my um, Operation Money Pit, um, I am feeling much more motivated following your comments. Um, 
and I've made an effort this week to get a lot of my kind of housework and laundry and things done in advance so that this weekend um, I can crack on with doing the dining room. So look out on Instagram, hopefully I'll be able to get some um, pictures posted on there. So it's kind of a plastered wall will become a grey wall, but at least it's progress. Um, so this is where I am with a £5 challenge. I have really enjoyed doing this challenge and I'm going to do this one again next year. Um, I have had to use some of the fibres, so I've got a bit of a random 30 quid at the back there. Um, but yeah, so I'll add that one in. I forgot to see how much I'm on actually, so I think I'm on about 315, something like that. Okay, so that one's going into there. So that's it, much shorter than usual, I think. Man, I do tend to waffle, so who knows. Um, so I will be back tomorrow with my um, cash stuffing for week five, and I'll take you through the uh, budget as well. Ooh, and also I've got a couple of bits of happy mail. Um, so I've been really good. I've been holding off and holding off ordering anything on Etsy, um, but I've ordered some bits for Christmas. I've ordered some bits for now and I've ordered some bits for a, um, a giveaway in December. Um, so do keep your eyes peeled for that video and hopefully I shall see you there. Thanks now. Bye bye.